What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into several topics right quick. Um, Bodine speaks on Krishana Blueface's love. Uh, Whack 100 um, basically speak about how Krishan is on the run, Chad, with his, you know how he get. Um, Natalie and Tommy going back and forth. We got a couple things to talk about, a couple things to talk about. So let's go ahead and get into it. We can start with Whack, girl. Get it over with. <laughs> really think it's been caught. Hold on. Think about it. You on the run from four agencies. You really think it's been called the police to make a report? You on the run. Right, you It's the up deal. everywhere. You wanted posters. You on the run. Think about it. Now, <clears throat> the only reason why I would disagree is because she went to court with Bluefus. She went to court. <laughs> she went to court with that nigga. And another thing, for the people who love me and my content but don't like the fact that I guess y'all say I take up for Krishan. <sighs> Every time I don't, y'all never acknowledge that. You still get to talking about how I'm taking up for. But a lot of times it's not me taking up for Krishan. Y'all telling me you want me to believe whack? Because like I said, if that's the case, everybody be lying in. Whack be lying. He be lying, okay? Um, I can't believe, like, Wack is the word. <laughs> Wack has came online, intentionally lied, said that he intentionally lied, and basically laughed about it and kept it moving. Krishan is a liar, too. Yes, she is, okay? However, I'm not going to believe another liar, so I'm going to go off of what I see that they're saying on the internet, bro. Krishan actually went to Blueface whole court date. She just announced that she was at a whole football game, football trial, whatever. 12 already, already, always know where her location is. And everybody know where Blueface house at. They ain't picked up yet. That's all I'm saying. One would say, why haven't they? Cool. One would ask. One is me. Why haven't they picked her up yet? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, girl, she is out, <clears throat> and it is what it is. Next. All right. Let's get into Bodine. You know, therapy, it's, it's like this. Like I said, and shout out to the voice, too, by the way. All the time. So the thing why he accept that shit, he like that shit. For y'all that don't, don't understand about this industry, when you when you famous and you start blowing up, all your mm -hmm. people around you start freaking their hands out everybody wants you to help everybody wants this from you they want you got this do this for me Facts. every she's ever with had their hands out besides the baby mama and her this gifts she wants to give she have two dollars and fifty cents and like white collar that ain't nothing but a ten cent but Dang. that ten cent would give that two dollars and fifty cents to that nigga and won't have nothing and go buy him a soda to drink and while she's thirsty and just looking at him but she happy with it Everybody else got their hand out. So he appreciate that. She, he loved that about her, that she's about him, not him being about her. It's about him. She That's wants some to make truth him happy. She do some wild, up, crazy ass. Shit. She'll tell you herself, I can't fucking stand her fucking guts. We can hear but it. One thing I do know, she love my little homeboy and she there for him. But she do backwards shit when it comes to his career. Like she, like she not just said, don't give a f Don't think, not caring. She's worried about herself. And just not getting to understand. I don't know if it's the child in her because she's a kid. But at the end of the day, it absolutely is. That's that because it's about him. Like I said, she, I don't give. A she can go hit the bank for a million dollars, knowing she going to jail. She gonna give him the money and tell him to run with it. Here, go, daddy, go. Let him take me to jail. I got him the money. He's he gonna be all right. Stupid. That's what it's about. But when it comes to everything else, and like I said, she don't want expensive. She's one of that take me to McDonald's, get me a chicken nugget sandwich, and I'm happy. As long as I'm sitting here next to you and you're smiling, I'm chicken good. nugget sandwich is crazy. So that's what it's really about when it comes to him and her. That's what I had to figure it out. Like, and I asked him a million and one time, What the f is it about it? The pussy can't be that good. This, what the f is it, nigga? And he say, It's about me. She makes sure it's about me. The nigga don't need yeah. no so therapy. So basically, <clears throat> another thing to address <clears throat> a lot of y'all are saying, <clears throat> Blueface don't love Krishan. He just using her. Um, 
I feel like to any woman, it's not, uh, Krishan ain't the only woman that would do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, basically put you before them. She's not the only one. A lot of women do that, actually. For some, for some reason, women love their man or whoever they date way more than they love themselves. I completely disagree with that. I don't understand it. Love yourself first. How can you love me first before you love yourself? Then you end up having problems. You see what's going on. So um, I believe him. <clears throat> it's the fact that Krishan um, will give her last to him and he don't have to lift a finger for her to give that last. I believe it. You know, one thing that I'm trying to figure out is why Krishan said that he, Bodine was talking to her in a rude way. He clearly don't like her at all. And um, all of them speak to her like that. She's not Krishan. She's a B word. She's a stupid B word. She is, you know, every name in the book, but rock. Okay. So I, I just, I never understood why she was so shocked that Bodine was being rude as hell to her. I'm not. He don't like you. Whack don't like you. I would never be in a place well, all these men don't like me. I feel like that's a dangerous place. Um, but Krishan love to step in some fire, girl, so let her get burned. Next. All right. We're going to get into these two. Child, I don't know what's going on with these two fools, but let me play it. All of, all of, this what the fuck you do to me? Nothing. I guess Bitch. they done got into a fight. <laughs> oh, Natalie put a knot on Tommy. What the head. fuck you did to me? <laughs> all, all of, it's the fact that Natalie put a knot on that girl head. <laughs> all of, this what the fuck you do to me? Nothing. Damn. Is <laughs> <laughs> this what the fuck you did to me? Uh, oh. Girl, Tommy love getting her ass beat by Natalie, child. I don't understand it. Ain't gonna understand it. Don't even want to understand it. I'm about to react to Biggie and Tesseki's music video um, and put it on the Patreon. First of all, I'm three weeks late. <laughs> it say two weeks ago, but child, I feel like I'm three weeks late. I'm about to react to that, and I'm also about to react to the Ray J's trailer for his new um, network. I'm about to react to that and put that on the Patreon as well. Um, and, you know, I watched Love & Hip Hop last night, and it was it was giving what it was supposed to give. Let me know if y'all still watch Love & Hip Hop. Um, I'll try my best to react to that on Patreon. If not, I'm just going to start giving my opinion on the episodes because... Um, yeah. It was pretty good last night. Saucy Santana and what's that boy name? His man got into it. Okay. And child, it was almost fighting. So y'all let me know if y'all want to see that. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah. Uh.